What's up guys, uh, it's fake news here. Uh, decided to make a new video how to set up add-ons for Elders Online. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, my add-ons and how to confi them correctly. So I will do my best to explain um, how to obtain add-ons, how to get uh, paid add-ons uh, and also how to make uh, the best out of add-ons that you already have because there are some tips and tricks that I've um, been told and learned and experienced myself so let's get into it so first thing you want to do is to find your add-ons folder I know this is kind of obvious for a lot of people but uh, I will get to the good stuff soon so open game client folder you select the uh, data, mods, add-ons uh, and here you can see here you can see the list of uh, my current add-ons so as you can see the only types of files you want in your add-on list is um, are like normal folders and .pack folders there's also a file called uh, readme in here and you shouldn't touch it, just uh, leave it there. Else you might screw your game files. Alright. So, where to obtain these add-ons? Then you have to head over to a webpage called uh, allodder.pro Uh, and your uh, web page will probably be in uh, Russian and uh, you can change the language by scrolling all the way down uh, and there's a language down here it should look like in Russian it looks like this and it's this one and then you can uh, click uh, add-ons so I'll just talk about which add-ons I think you should download um, the first one if you want to get uh, paid add-ons you want to download this it's uh, called my ID in English um, and I'll come back to what this add-ons uh, what this add-on will do for you uh, when I will talk about paid add-ons uh, later in the video so You should definitely get the uh, AOE meter, it's the best DPS meter for allods. Um, you should get buff announce, cool buffs, stats ma stat manager, this this particular stat manager, not, um, not other versions, get this, just stat manager. Uh, there's actions mod, um, which I use for my um, uh, action bars, so if you want to customize your action bar, this is what you want to get. Uh, power auras is a good uh, option for those of you who can't get paid anons. Uh, but I will strongly recommend you to buy uh, cool buffs. FPS increase is what I use. Uh, to increase my FPS in like big fights uh, for some people it helps for me it helps with FPS to use this add-on for other people it doesn't help at all so you just have to check for yourself uh, the list goes on how to mount feed how to feeds your mount really good um, then you can have uh, if you don't have um, you don't want paid add-ons, you can do, just download this one, new target 3D, to at least get a, uh, like a crosshair around your target. Um, else you will, we will just use the um, buff announce one. This one, build manager, get this one. Uh, I'll show you how to use both stat manager and uh, build manager. But this one is super, super good, uh, especially if you have a vial of death. 
Diminishing used to be very good, but as we got uh, the rank 5 of um, the newest artifact, uh, this has become useless, but it used to show you like the cooldown uh, until the next um, CC school could be applied without diminishing returns on the target. Target locker might be good, I don't use it, but uh, fighting against scouts or uh, as the meta is now with so many invises. You can like lock your target on the scout and even though he invis, you can uh, you will just insta target him when he comes back. Uh, Cures Kree is good. You can it per uh, permanently shows the uh, price, the BC price. So you can like speculate in um, in gems if you want. Checker manager allows you to save different outfits. It's uh, Flower Bottom's favorite uh, add-on. <laughs> Show DD, super good add-on. Um, it's paid, but you can. It's the add-on I use to get my like damage shown on the side and with the uh, icon and text, so I know what's doing what. Uh, Dancing Sword, stop casting. Uh, super nice add-on for support bards. Uh, you have to edit the file yourself by adding in Dancing Sword, stop casting. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, a very good add-on. Phantom Tracker, I use it for uh, Psy. Uh, super nice to, to keep track of your phantoms. And Notify Tring 2 is what I use for um, get the wings on the side. Uh, when you pop a trinket, and also it shows a little uh, icon on the right side of your uh, default action bar where you can see the cooldown uh, of your uh, trinket. Super good to time burst. Cast bar mod is what I use to drag and drop my cast bar. Uh, uh, you have to use. Um, uh, a lock add-on to make it work. Let's see if I can find the uh, AON locker add-on. Uh, here we have uh, AON locker. I think it's mandatory if you're gonna use uh, the damage showing add-on and also the cast bar mod. So we definitely have to get this one and if you by all means, so all of us have like a few spells that we click from time to time, um, like pots or anything. It locks the action bar so you don't accidentally drag anything out of your action bar, <laughs> which kind of suck. Uh, it kind of sucks if you do that in the middle of a fight or in a raid boss. So get this add-on. Okay, so that's where you can find uh, the add-ons, so uh, let's go how we can get paid add-ons now. Uh, which you really want if you want to do some serious PvPing. So we have to download this, called uh, My ID, uh, but it's only Russian text. Okay, so then you, when you download My ID and register an account on the, on the LOD Pro website, you click on your profile. And go to your profile. Okay, so you go click on your your profile. And you go to my profile. And then you click edit profile. I won't show you that because there's my code and I don't want anyone to use that code. Uh, but basically there says uh, game ID and you just copy paste in your game ID which you will get from in-game. So after you downloaded my ID. Um, you have to drag and drop all your add-ons into your uh, add-ons folder. You should have my ID. Uh, basically, to show you, I can show you fast how to to um, get add-ons. So let's just download. 
Just download uh, the new DPS meter. Actually need it, so... Download this file, agree and download. If you have Google Chrome, it will appear down here. You can do show in, show in, uh, in file, show file. And just uh, drag and drop it. Into add-ons. I want to replace my old AOV meter, so I'll just replace. Uh, if there's, a, if it's a um, RAR file, you just have to have a WinRAR. Drag it into your add-ons uh, folder. Right-click and uh, it should be like an icon like this. And you press Extract here, and then you're done. Dot pack files. It's just to drag. You want to head into your game, and you open up your uh, up your game, and then there should pop up a screen, like a tiny window with a code. You copy that code, paste it into your uh, profile, in your edit profile, uh, and then you're set. What's next? You have to buy the add-ons. Uh, but I just find it easier to just buy premium so I can download all the add-ons on the page and experiment. So then you just hover over add-ons, go to premium. Uh, and it costs 125 rubles, I think 150 rubles, rubles with the tax, which is about 4.5 dollars. So you can, per you can pay with PayPal, so it's pretty pretty good. So when you purchased your um, your premium, you can go back to add-ons and then you have to re-download or you have to download the paid add-ons. Sort by, um, filter by paid. And then you download buff announce, cool buffs, and um, show DD and the amount, X amount ride. Okay, so then we are going to set up your add-ons. So I will just Talk you through my tips and tricks for uh, the all my add-ons. So then you have actions mod to make your action bars. Uh, the easiest command to remember is uh, uh, slash uh, a b d n d. And you get like uh, kind of green square around your uh, abilities. And then you can just, uh, and you have to turn off um, the locker add-on. Then you can drag and drop all your abilities. It takes a while to set up, but once you're done, it's kind of chill. I like it. And to lock them again, just type slash A, B, D, and D. Uh, and then you have, um, you can see when I press the... Uh, a AON locker, you can also drag around the windows for the damage uh, and also the cast bar. Right. Uh, so you get all these icons up here, that's for uh, the different add ons. This is for the Phantom Tracker. Uh, so we can start with Buff Announce. When you press Buff Announce, this window will appear. Uh, and here you can add uh, a lot of different buffs. I'll just scroll through the, this quickly and you can um, copy if you want. Just pause the video and uh, write it down. It has to be the exact right name of the buff for it to work with capital letters and everything. Um, Alright. Uh, if you want to copy my settings, here they are. So go ahead and copy. <laughs> and I used uh, for target, I used a big arrow. All right, for um, cool buffs, takes a little more work, but here you um, uh, can also copy my setup if you want.
Uh, only thing missing in my list uh, are warden spells, which I haven't added yet. Um, yeah. Uh, so for the different settings, I know for sure that the two on the top are like um, for your uh, yourself, your enemy, and this option is for if it should blink, like spark or not um, and this one I'm not sure I think it's like show uh, like only afflicted by you or something not entirely sure but just leave it like this and it should work um, my advice is to not add too many buffs to your buff uh, your uh, tracker only the buffs that you really need uh, and here's a good list of what you should have for your cool buff. And for settings, uh, you can do um, like this. Just copy my settings. It should be, it should work fine. So for the last thing I'll show you, it's um, uh, Build manager and stat manager. So if you have uh, a master goblin like me, uh, it works wonders. So basically, what you can do is uh, with your build manager, this is my Psy PvP support build. Um, I have to, can rename it to like whatever I want, but uh, I want it as this name. So I hit enter. Uh, and I press overwrite that means it saves the setup I have now uh, and it saves the all the talents and all the rubies uh, and it saves uh, the layout of your hotkeys so if I respec you see now I am fully respec uh, but when I hit my psi pvp support Everything respects automatically, and it's the same build. Uh, for stats, uh, it works the exact same way, uh, but uh, you need uh, to have um, this once you need the uh, insignias to reroll the stats. So uh, it works. The exact same way. All right, that's it, guys. Um, hope you got something use useful out of the guide. Uh, if you have any more questions, just ask me on YouTube or on the stream or in game, and I'll answer as good as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.